we've already looked at how to select our SIM code and how to do other things with it, uh, what each module does, things like that. So now let's take a look at how we are going to commission this guy. So first let's take a look at the software that we need to use to commission the SIM code. Two different options here, uh, basic or professional. Basic is just that, basic. It's free, allows the users to commission one device at a time by plugging directly into that device. Professional costs about $3,300 list. Again, that's list price. Go with your local distributor like Electrical Equipment Company and we can get you your price on it. Uh, but that is going to allow us to access unlimited devices via the network. Uh, it also unlocks some other special options within the software. Uh, you don't even have to be in front of that device. Like I said, you can do it over the network. Sit back on your sofa and relax. Now, once you have your software installed and ready, uh, go ahead and fire up TI Portal. Uh, it's all within TI Portal, so you know if you've got your Step 7 or your WinCC, it's all going to be there. Uh, so once we have that, we're going to go ahead and go to Add New Device. And you'll have a whole list of different devices here that you can add in. For this purpose, I've just got Control Devices listed. We're going to select our SIM code Pro, select our version number, and hit OK. All right, so this screen here is for standard or safety. Uh, we're just going to select standard. These are our different options that we can do. For this demo, we're just going to do direct starter. We'll go ahead and click this box down here, start parameter wizard. So we're going to check that, and just like a wizard, it's going to have your SIM code doing magical things for your motor when we're done here. Click finish. For our field bus interface, we're just going to leave it at the default. And then our next screen is going to be our configuration. Uh, here we can select if we have a thermistor or initialization module. And again, we have direct star selected. I can change that if I need to. Hit next. And this is where our motor nameplate data is going to come in handy. Uh, so we're going to have our different current here. What are we looking at? Uh, what overload class we want? You see we got some drop downs. Uh, and then we've also got you know some other protections like a stalled rotor. We can set it to signal warn or trip. Same with our unbalanced protection. So we're just going to leave that, click next, and here we're going to do some more current information, high and low. Uh, we can have our motor operating hours selected as well as our internal ground fault. Once we're done setting those values, we're going to click finish. So now you'll see over here on the left hand side of my project tree, I've got my SIMA code. If I go to my devices and networks screen, I'll have it listed there. Uh, if it was assigned to a PLC or something like that, this not assigned would then go and say Profine Interface 1500, things like that. So at this point, your SIM code, the base unit has been added. You can go into your device configuration here and drop in other devices if need, but it's going to pick your current voltage monitoring module based off of what you selected in that parameter wizard, and it's going to drop in this HMI here as well. Uh, so you'll see here on the right hand side with my catalog, I can add in other devices like my digital module, like an input or output, things like that. I can change my current module if I need to. All right, well that's it. So that's adding in your SIM code into TI Portal and doing some basic commissioning.